Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is cloud architecture and anatomy of cloud. Guys, I have uploaded a complete cloud computing subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is cloud architecture. Guys, each and every technology has structure and we call the structure as architecture. By seeing architecture, we can clearly know how the technology will work. In same way, cloud also has an architecture. By seeing cloud architecture, we can clearly know how cloud functions. As we know, cloud depends on internet to work. Guys, cloud architecture has four layers. By seeing that four layers, we can clearly know how user access and use the cloud. Guys, these are four layers in cloud architecture. And the first one is user or client layer. Second one is network layer. Third one is cloud management layer. And fourth one is hardware resource layer. I will explain each layer in detail. At first, I will explain user or client layer. Guys, this is lowest layer in cloud architecture. This layer includes users or clients who use the cloud. Guys, in user or client layer, users will use devices like thin client, thick client, mobile phones or tablets. Thin clients need help from the other systems to work properly. I will give an example. As for example, there is software company. In the software company, there are so many systems and all the systems are low configuration systems. If the systems want to do any work, then they need to connect to server to complete that work. Guess for example, this computer want to use one software. In order to use that software, this computer must connect to server. For example, this computer want to store files. But this computer is low configuration system. This computer cannot store large size files. So in order to store large size files, they need to store them in server. So again, this computer need to connect to server in order to store large size files. As all these computers are low configuration computers, these computers need to connect to server in order to do any work. So we call these computers as thin clients. Thin clients are the computers that depends on other computers to work. Second one is thick clients. Thick clients work on its own like a regular computer. I'll give one example. Because for example, there is software company. In the software company, all computers are high configuration computers. All computers can work on their own without depending on server. So we call these computers as thick clients. Third one is mobile phones or tablets. Guys, even by using handheld devices like smartphones or iPads, we can use cloud. This is the example. For example, if you consider YouTube or Google Drive, these are cloud applications. We can use them in mobile or tablets. So user or client layer contains three types of users. They are thin clients, thick clients, and mobile phones or tablets. Thin clients depends on other computers to use cloud. And whereas thick clients can use cloud on their own, and even by using mobile phones or tablets, we can use cloud. This is all about user or client layer. Second layer is network layer. Guys, by using network layer, users can connect to the cloud. This connection is usually the internet for public clouds or local area network for private clouds. Guys, for example, if you consider AWS and Google Drive, anyone can use them by using internet. So we call Google Drive and AWS as public clouds because anyone can use them by using internet. Data center is nothing but where company servers are stored physically, we call that place as data center. As I'm using Google Drive, but we don't know where Google data center is located. It is hidden. So we use Google or Amazon services, which are available worldwide, but we don't know where the cloud data center is located, it is hidden. This is example of private cloud. For example, there is software company. This software company will purchase so many servers for this company. And only employees in this company can use these servers. And we call this as private cloud. All these devices, computers and servers are connected to each other through local area network. For example, if you consider Google Drive and AWS, both are public clouds because Anyone can use them by using internet. And whereas if you consider the servers, only employees in this company can use the servers. Outside people cannot use the servers. So we call this setup as private cloud. And all these devices are connected to each other by using local area network. This is example of private cloud. A company may use its own cloud only within its office building or organization. Some companies may use their own cloud within office building. If you want to use any cloud service, you need a good network. 
that is nothing but you need a fast internet connection guys if your internet is slow it is not cloud provider fault it is your fault guys for example if you watch any video in youtube if your internet is slow then it will keep on buffering and it is your fault because your internet is slow it is not youtube company fault so by using network layer users can connect to cloud by using internet we can connect to public clouds and whereas by using local area network we can connect to private clouds this is all about network layer next i will explain what is cloud management layer guys cloud management layer contains softwares by using these softwares we can manage and control cloud operations basically there are two types of softwares in cloud management layer and the first one is cloud operating systems and second one is management softwares guys if you want to play games or if you want to watch movies or softwares at first you need to install operating system in your computer in same way even in cloud if you want to use cloud resources like servers softwares storage etc at first you need to install operating system in your cloud by using cloud operating system we can connect to cloud resources like server storage etc cloud operating systems are the special softwares that connect the user to the cloud resources like servers storage and data same like installing windows operating system in our computer even in cloud we need to install cloud operating system in order to use cloud resources second one is management software by using management software we can manage cloud resources by using management software we can do scheduling optimizing and organizing workloads scheduling is nothing but deciding at what time and how task must run and optimizing mean using cloud resources like servers and storage efficiently that is nothing but based on our requirement we can increase servers and we can decrease servers and based on our requirement we can increase storage and as well as we can decrease storage we can optimize resources based on our need and third one is organizing workloads by using management software we can manage task and work happening in the cloud and this cloud management layer directly affects service level agreements guys service level agreements are the agreements between user and cloud providers guys in service level agreement cloud providers will guarantee three things they are performance speed and availability performance is nothing but cloud providers will say cloud will work fast and speed is nothing but whenever you want to use any service in cloud that service will be available to you without any delay and availability is nothing but all cloud resources are available whenever you need them and if something goes wrong cloud provider must pay penalty for breaking the agreement guys aws and microsoft azure these both are examples of public cloud and open stack and eucalyptus these both are examples of private cloud and fourth one is hardware resource layer the name itself says hardware resource layer this layer includes hardware resources that power the cloud guys many users will use aws cloud and google cloud and aws company contains so many servers and similarly google company also contains so many servers and place where servers are stored physically we call that location as data center so aws company contains so many data centers data center is nothing but place where servers are stored physically we call that location as data center whenever user upload any data in cloud the data is stored in data centers so data centers are large buildings full of servers and hardware where cloud data is stored and processed guys aws and google both are public clouds because anyone can use them by using internet and in public clouds data centers are managed by cloud providers so aws and google are cloud providers they will manage data centers and some software companies will create their own servers and their servers are accessed only by employees in that company outside people cannot access their servers so we call it as private cloud in private cloud data centers are managed by company itself so hardware resource layer is all about hardware resources hardware resources are stored in data centers this layer is the most critical for service level agreements because it ensures that resources are delivered quickly and reliably the service level agreement completely depends on data centers because if anything happens to data centers all users cannot use cloud so data centers must work 24 by 7 without any problem only if they work properly all users can use cloud so hardware resource layer is very important in service level agreement guys if there is any delay or failure in cloud service then cloud provider must pay penalty as per service level agreement
and data centers are connected with high speed networks and they will use efficient systems in order to transfer data. Sometimes multiple clouds share the same data center or a single cloud may use several data centers. I will give example. For example, if you consider AWS cloud, in AWS, some data centers are located in Hyderabad, some data centers are located in Bangalore and some data centers are located in Delhi. Multiple users can use same data center or single user can store data in different data centers. So sometimes multiple users will use same data center or single user will use several data centers. Next I will explain anatomy of the cloud. Guess anatomy is nothing but basic parts that make up the cloud. We call it as cloud anatomy. These are five parts that make up the cloud and the first one is application, second one is platform, third one is infrastructure, fourth one is virtualization and fifth one is server or storage or data center. I will explain each of them. And the first one is application. Guys, we will run so many applications in cloud. So this application layer is top layer where our apps will run. For example, we will run apps like Google Docs, Zoom, Gmail, etc. in cloud. And second one is platform. Guys, if you want to run any applications in cloud, at first you need to install operating system in our cloud. So platform is nothing but operating system. In cloud, we need to install operating systems like Windows or Linux. After installing operating system in our cloud, we can run applications. This is middle part that helps software run properly. This platform connects software to the hardware. Third one is infrastructure. Thus, infrastructure contains three parts. They are processing power, storage and network. Cloud must contain processing power in order to work. Similarly, cloud also needs storage in order to store data. And similarly, cloud also need network in order to access internet. So cloud must contain these three things. And fourth one is virtualization. Guys, virtualization means creating virtual systems from real physical machines. Guys, virtualization means inside single physical computer, we can create multiple virtual computers. For example, if you consider cloud, in cloud, inside single physical server, we can create multiple virtual servers. Guys, for example, if you consider AWS, in AWS, single server is given to multiple users. For example, AWS company contains so many servers and single server is given to multiple users. For example, in this single physical server, this person will create Windows virtual server, this person will create Linux virtual server and this person will create Mac virtual server and this person will do office work, this person will store some files and this person will do office work and all these virtual servers are independent. This person cannot see each data and similarly this person cannot see each data. All are independent. So in cloud, one big server can be divided into smaller virtual servers that work like separate computers. This is all about virtualization. And fifth one is physical hardware. Guys, physical hardware is nothing but real hardware like server and storage. Because of server and storage, cloud will work. Guys, in cloud, physical hardware are present in data centers. So in cloud, Big computers and storage machines are placed in data centers. This is all about anatomy of cloud.